fucking did you just snore? <laughs> I know why you laughed. I know why you laughed. Cause you took one look at them, you're like, I know who the vegans are. <laughs> oh. You know how there's like a saying where it's like <laughs> You know, you know, you, <laughs> good. you know, <laughs> no, come here. I'm done. Come here. <laughs> come here. Come here. You know how there's a saying where they go, how can you tell someone's a vegan? And they're like, don't worry, they'll tell you. <laughs> I feel like this is the, another alternate version where it's like, how do you know someone's a vegan? Oh, and you'll see. You'll see. <laughs> That's exactly. That's oh, a- yo, it would f- blow my mind if you said, "Yeah, I eat meat." Can I have all of my vegans go into that pool of light and my non-vegans in that pool of light? The more education that we can put out there, just like stuff like this, is beautiful. That's what I was most anxious about: mm-hmm. is learning more of what I'm trying to step into. I don't know if I'll ever give up chicken. I'm just gonna be honest with you. I don't know. <laughs> this nigga. <laughs> <laughs> this man. <laughs> Yo! This guy kid. <laughs> Jubilee, you piece of shit. I know you guys record for an hour for you to guys keep this. Do you know that you were laughing on the edits? Like, the black guy said chicken. We gotta keep it in. <laughs> <sighs> Yeah, but I really wish you would have say watermelon and purple drain. It's okay, chicken will do. <laughs> oh, I can't get mad at him because he said it, but said damn. It. You said it. I want to eat a lot cleaner chicken. You know, I want to eat a lot of cleaner chicken, you know, wash it chicken. And you can just tell at the beginning of her speech, uh, of his speech, the girl's looking at him like, I'd f- Tyrone. And then, <laughs> <laughs> and then at the end of it, she's like, Tyrone, you're problematic. <laughs> I believe that humans are the top of the food chain. Is a human at the same level of equivalence as like a a fish? Right. That's probably a big reason why I'm not vegan anymore. You know, why should we have a pet that's a dog rather than eat the dog? And I think the most important question is, why should I love my neighbor rather than eat my neighbor? What the f*** did you say? Run that back. And and it gets into moral questions like, you know, why should we have a pet that's a dog rather than eat the dog? And I think the most important question is, why should I love my neighbor rather than eat my neighbor? Are we the dumb ones? I just don't see it. Like, I don't even see like, what is like a food chain? You know what I'm saying? That's just some contract some guy made and put a little diagram and put us human beings in the top, so. You don't think there's a food chain in the animal kingdom where one animal eats one animal and eats the other one? Yes, there's a higher kingdom. What a goofball. (laughs) Some people refute what is man-made or man thought because a man thought of it. That's how little they think of man. It comes to the discussion that we were saying like when a white person is like, yo, white people, and a man is like, yo, man are the work. This is a bit of the same. It's like, no, animals are equal to us and at men are the worst. It's just because some, they belittle everything. There is a food chain. Yeah, listen, it's the equivalent of saying there are no social classes in society. That's just some made up theory. That some or, guy made No, up. some people are richer and some people live in better lives. And lifestyle. there's a class. I don't think it's a question of whether we're at the top. I think it's a question of what do you do with that? If you have a more conscious energy than an animal, what do you do with that power? Mm. Do you choose to take a life or do you choose to live in love? Okay, listen, you know what? You gave Jubilee Pre's last video, I'm gonna knock them. They always seem to choose the most ridiculous looking vegans. I know vegans personally, yeah. and they're really cool and normal people. Then that wouldn't be vegan. Yeah. So I have no idea why they choose these fringe weirdos. Why do they all dress? I, I know vegans, you wouldn't be able to tell they're vegan by looking at them. Nope. Then that wouldn't be vegan. These people came dressed like they're part of a circus. I think it's really powerful, no matter what you're eating, to put your intentions into it, whether it's prayer, invocation, and it's just such great power and presence versus just like scarfing something down, but like, can I just really be present with this meal, take my time and chew it slowly? So that's the first thing that I uh, resonate with and what I choose to do. It's not because you're vegan or even vegetarian, vegetarian vegan that you're healthy, okay? I feel like if the meat eaters, they're like, yeah, you know what, processed food and stuff like that, 
there's processed food in veganism. There's processed food in vegan. It's not because you're vegetarian or vegan that you're healthier mm. or you don't have any processed food. Processed food is found in okay. both those sides. So I just want to make that clear. I don't okay. want to, I just want to make a point of that. I would kill an animal. You guys all better come forward. If you go eat it, you got to be ready to kill it too. I'm not saying that you should be out there killing it. But if someone said, hey, for today's meat, you have to kill it. And you have, no, I could never do that. Boo-boo. You indirectly support it. So if you indirectly support it, you should be able to directly support it. So you're a hypocrite, basically. I think there'd be tons of context where I'd kill an animal. Like if a, if a lion's going to go kill a baby, I'd probably kill an animal. I'd kill an animal to save a human life. And I get that vegans probably wouldn't do that. I would. I would. <laughs> no, they're, they're, they're gonna Woo! Careful, they come in trigger. Why do you run like that? Because they're triggered. <laughs> and that's what we do when we're triggered. We're just- This man did a face. sandal shuffle. Why is it always the extreme case when talking about would I kill an animal? Like, yeah, exactly. if you were in a, this situation- There aren't lions running around downtown LA. To be fair to the vegans, they're right. That, that is a stupid example. Yeah. When they ask the question, you shouldn't go to an extreme. You should use everyday life. So if, for example, I raise an animal, in the wild, it's like an animal I've built a relationship with. And that animal now... Why is it always the extreme case? You little <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Are human beings animals? Yes. Yes. Sure. Would you kill another human being to save another human being? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, if someone's attacking somebody, I would probably kill them to save the other one. That's not a complicated. <laughs> Either way, someone's gonna die. Someone's dying. And I'd rather kill the person who's attacking another random human <clears throat> because they might attack me afterwards. What makes one person more valuable to, to another? Is it your relationship to that person? It would, yeah, it would probably be. So if, for example, I raise an animal in the wild. This guy's doing a false equivalency. Mm -hmm. Boo, your animal is not a human. Stop comparing the two. They're not the same, nor will they ever be. Your dog is not the same as other human beings. Your cat is not the same as other human beings. And other, any other animal that you raise is not. I don't care if it's domesticated or not. They are not humans. I know there's crazy dog people out there who be like, my dog deserves to live over... No, okay? If you're willing to eat animals and you're fine with eating animals, dogs are no different. I'm not saying I'm going to go and f cut off a leg off Lassie or whatever, okay? Right. Fido dog is not getting f put over a, a, a stove. It's not happening. That being said... You can't have this hierarchy of animals where like dogs are more important to, than cows. No, no, they're all the same. I'm not a hypocritical meat eater. Animal. Okay? That's because true. what you think is important to you mm. is irrelevant in other countries. Mm. Or Even, to other people. And you eat cows every day? Well, in India, they don't allow people to eat cows. Should Indians impose their moral values on you? No. You can't eat But then you want to look at Chinese people eating dogs and you're like, that's unacceptable. If you eat animals, you have no basis to say which animal deserves to live or doesn't. That's it. It's either all okay or none of it's okay. Don't we love that line? Yeah. Same here. Yeah, the, the same thing. With, I with, hate with that kind of... like to eat steak, but they wouldn't eat horse because you like horses and stuff like that. Yo, eat it. I don't care if you eat don't... It, eat it, eat it, eat it. I don't care. I don't care if you don't want to eat horse. That's perfectly acceptable. But you don't get to impose that on other people. Does that make sense? If you say, I don't feel comfortable with it, that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. But you shouldn't tell other people what they're not allowed. So when people go to China, they'll be y'all can't eat these dogs. Yes, they can. You see, 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 because you, I, it's you, about you, relationship. You, you kill a person over an animal. That's Correct. You, yeah. Because I believe human beings are animals. Now, I see humans at a different level, but maybe you value fish at the same level as a person. I, we see it very different. I do. You don't. I do. I do. I do. I think animals are like equal to human beings. I do. And if I saw like an animal fighting with a human in the street, I would like look at the animal and be like, can I help you? And the animal wouldn't respond because like I don't speak their language, but like I feel what it's saying, you know, because I operate on feelings and I just, we're all animals, you know? So I'd be like, hey human, can you stop? And if the animal's biting the human's neck, well, I'm just like nature, you know? Yeah. It costs more than it should to eat healthy. It's more expensive to eat healthy. I don't think it's too expensive. Farmer's market is something that I'm trying to frequent more. But sometimes, you know, you can go spend $20 here and definitely not get as much. Um, I definitely want to see that. You know, maybe that'll encourage people to eat a little healthier. If you can go grab that fresh fruit, those fresh veggies for five, 10 bucks, you know? I think 
uh, our culture as a society is just ingrained towards like the fast food culture, which is cheap and, and accessible. But now I think we have more of a established like medical basis on what's healthy and what's not healthy. And to get that content and to have it be tasty as well is, is expensive. I'm running in. I have so much to say. <sighs> oh, your phantom bag, G. Phantom bag. Hate's a strong word. I really dislike her. My disdain for her is rising. I don't know vegans like that. I don't know vegans that are like that. They're gonna run into some shit to be like, man, I don't this thing. Just say it. Relax. Here's the thing. She's gonna uh, she's gonna say this from a place of privilege. I guarantee. You. Yeah, absolutely, definitely. It does not cost more money to be vegan. That is a myth. It takes planning. Yes, the convenience is less. Can you grab a hamburger at McDonald's? For sure, for 99 cents. But can, how much lentils can you buy? The issue is capitalism. Like that is what is keeping us where we are. It's not that humans are smarter and they're going to come up with this technology. The technology exists. It is there. We can feed so many people. It is capitalism and factory farming. Therefore, it costs more to eat healthy, period. And if you are in a food desert, it's going to cost you more. Like, oh yeah, lentils. If you don't have lentils around you, fuck nugget, you won't find it. And it's gonna be easier for you to go to Dairy Queen or whatever. You call her a fuck nugget. I, I said what I said. Oh, sh I shouldn't say nugget. Can I have a six pack of fuck nuggets? Nuggets, yeah, with the sauce. Would you like some chicken in that? No, just some fuck. Yeah, yeah, uh, and a lot of sauce. Dumb sauce. Like, no, it, this nigga you said don't, fuck you don't see it. You, you don't see it because yeah. you don't get to see it, and that's fine. That's perfectly fine. But well, don't let's... go, on, don't go ahead and say like, hey, nothing got my nigga. Yeah, I am so okay for him. No, there's other people in this. Bitch let's other be, than you. Let's be clear. If tomorrow everyone wanted to turn vegan, it would be impossible. Yo. We don't have the production for it. We Yo. don't have, it would have to be phases. It would be a slow process to turn everyone vegan. And this is such a Western idea. You can tell it's only for people who live in very privileged places. Yeah. Because go to Africa and try to tell them that they can't eat their cows or whatever. You know, that livestock is how they eat for weeks on end. Like you can't just go willy nilly and try to expect everyone to change overnight. No, they need those animals. Everybody has So you don't, right. so when you sit there, you run in like, I've got the answers we have the technology we have the capacities we have the you have it in your neighborhood because you live with bougie ass white people who probably can't afford to be vegan but a lot of people can't a lot of people don't have the means and a lot of people will never have the means so be honest about this conversation and most of these companies that are selling us products that are like food they don't give a f about nah, you nah. at all they're period fine. someone's sitting on the island somewhere oh yeah like just stacking bread and they're probably this fast food shit. eating really healthy food too. yeah and they're probably eating real good they're, probably don't touch products. It. Yeah. they're not eating any of that have you seen the guy who invented kombucha have you seen some of the people who invented a lot of those vegan options they're eating really good too and they're behaving just like capitalists like the rest of them well you don't think capitalism is involved in veganism it's big business right now it's like yoga yoga started off as a spiritual practice guess what now it's very capitalistic so when you sit there and you act like meat eaters are the only capitalists, no, no, boo-boo. There's plenty of capitalists in vegan world, and it's not necessarily always a bad thing. If you have a vegan product and there's a label on it, and it's not free, guess how it's moving. Just, just, just guess. You go to certain neighborhoods, certain areas, you don't see the same fast food. You don't see the mm. same restaurants. Mm -mm. And it's all for a reason. You know, Accessibility. It's, it's, I mean, yeah, that's a good point. It's like they don't have, why is there many health food stores in the hood? How come exactly. I can't like get an option? Why is there a liquor store everywhere? Store? Exactly. And it's true. It's like you have to, when you break it down, there's like malicious intent to deharmonize and like lower the vibration of certain people. De deharmonize and lower the vibration of people. And I just feel like if we're able to get more vegan stores within these low-income people of color neighborhoods crystal? what we could do is just raise everyone's chakra levels and then point where everything's going to be aligned and we're really going to feel a certain level of balance within our own consciousness we're really going to be able to feel our spirits rising and our our, our falling moon just come into alignment and, and you're just going to feel a sense of serenity and i think that's good i think it's something that we all need you know i just feel like the things that we're putting into our body are just like dead carcasses and when you when you put that dead thing in you you're literally killing your own life force that's why i just feel like if we're able 
if we're able, okay, if we're able, okay, if we're able to just bring everyone's vibrations to a standstill and just leave it at a nice little hum, we could really bring it all together. Yeah. Let's carry on. Sure. And certain areas, and it's like, that's a part of it too. It's like, what am I contributing to? True. I'll say this, you know, when I was 11 years old, my father passed away from his second heart attack. He was diabetic, he was pissing out of a tube. I watched him deteriorate my youngest years of my life for like years and years, just deteriorate, taking pharmaceutical drugs and just kind of basically dying slowly. You. Shut up. Not about you. Shut up. This guy's talking about his dad dying and his experience. Like, my mom died too. Nobody asked you. It's not about you. To me, I'd rather spend an extra dollar <laughs> in either organic or something healthy now and live longer than try to cut corners when, you know. I'm with you. In like, the make ends. the choice now instead of later. Look how she's cutting him off. Because if you I guys, don't... we have four minutes left. Sorry oh, to interrupt yeah, sorry you, but we have four minutes. Sorry. I want to hear from oh, other sorry. people. Sorry. I want to know. The only reason I did it can is you... because I want to. Um, I so... want to. We ask. Oh, not. I don't want to cut you off. Yeah, but I want to ask specific sorry. questions to people. But... More. In the because end. my mom was same thing. She yeah. died. She she was eating buckets of ice cream mm. when she passed away. She died at 49 years old. Wow. Now choose now. I just wondered. Do you think, bro? Like, bro? Do you think like she's operating on like a higher vibration because like she couldn't feel like the energy that you were channeling out and she just cut it she cut it like very abruptly she that's, cut it like right there no, but the same way like god cut your dad's life short she just came in there and cut your conversation <laughs> short is she operating you on a higher vibration do you guys have like cheat days ever hell no <laughs> i am vegan 100% at the front line, ethical reasons, always, always, always. And that's why I don't think in 24 years I've ever gone back. It was hard to try new things, things I didn't like, found tons of vegan food that I was like, oh God, what the fuck are you people eating? <laughs> and then simultaneously realizing that there was options, you know, there's always choices and it's always choices we make. Like you said, you may never give up meat um, fully, but it's like you're making a choice. You're at least thinking for yourself and making a decision and like, that's all you can ask people to do is think for themselves. Yeah, uh, mm, 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 I hope cause, mm, mm, I hope not cause, uh, not vegan, thank you. Where I stand is simple. I think animals are beneath us and therefore I have no problem with it. That's it. I'm not gonna be a giant hypocrite about it. No. I feel that way about all animals. No, I, yeah, it's the same thing. I don't That's find why, any why, animal special. A dog is not gonna sleep in my bed. No. Sleeping in my bed, sleeping in my bed. It's not going to happen. Yeah. But listen, you know, I just think it's unfortunate that Jubilee gets these obnoxious vegans on and not more reasonable, well thought at once. Um, but it does, you know, great. Uh, if it was not like that, we wouldn't be able to talk about it. Actually, no, we would. If they would put better people there, we would be able to talk about it yeah. and have a really honest conversation. Yeah. Now we don't really have much. I mean, we have people that are... Goofy and some some of them were hypocrites, but whatever. On the bright side, none of them were as bad as Aaron, so that's good. How can you be? Or Nick, Nick the car? Yeah. yeah. Where you Christopher boy at? <laughs> there you go. So anyways, that's it for today's video. Tell us what you guys thought about this discussion. Uh, we want to hear your thoughts. Let us know how much you love chicken. <laughs>